Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, the place where we meet up and we talk about real life situations. On today's episode of Wine Down Wednesday, we are going to touch on the phrase, they want to see you do good, but never better than them. I decided to talk about this topic this week because it's something very common and I also feel like it's something that a lot of us have experienced when it comes to like family, friends, relationship, bosses. A lot of us have encountered situations where people wanted to see us do good but not better than them. As always, before we get into things, make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have your post notification bell turned on so you are alerted each and every time that I post a video. All right. They want to see you do good, but never better than them. I know a lot of you guys out there have experienced a situation where you were in the works of something or you were talking about something for a long time and you had people around you who were super supportive, like super, super supportive. Like no matter what it is that you have going on, like if you got a new car or if you were thinking about getting a new car, they were super supportive. You thinking about buying a house, you thinking about, you know, starting certain business ventures, anything, anything at all, um, no matter how big or small it is to you, something that you were working towards, you know, or something that you've accomplished and you had people around you who were rooting for you or everything like that. And the minute you get into position or the minute things start working out for you or the minute whatever you manifested starts to happen for you, you started noticing that people, you know, start falling back a little bit, right? Sadly, it's a it's a real thing like those people of course they want to see you do good They're rooting for you, but they don't want you to do better than them And that's just a, a scary fact and it's a reality that that's a real thing and it's like I said, it's pretty scary It can be your boss. They don't want to see you get that promotion So they aren't gonna do things or you know show you things that's gonna help you grow because they don't want to feel like you're gonna take their position same thing happen in relationships sometimes people are happy for you but if you're progressing and they're not, they're not going to be that happy for you. So just pay attention to certain people that you think you have in your corner that in reality don't want to see you win. Because if you my friend or if you my boss or if you my girlfriend or boyfriend or mom, sister, whoever, because it could be anybody. Like there's no limitations to this phrase. It could be anybody. But I feel like my, my, my look on things, and this is with anybody that's around me. If I win, we all win, right? Because once you go to the top, or once you make it to the top or accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish, you're always going to send the ladder back down. Or if it's something in that moment where you could bring people with you, you're going to bring them. But if you can't bring them right now, you're going to send that ladder back down and you're going to help them get to the top, right? So I feel like, again, if I win, we all win. That's, that's just, that's my, that's how I feel, you know? A lot of people don't have that mindset and a lot of people are envious and jealous of what you got. And sometimes what you got is not even a lot. But to them, it's more than what they have. It's more than what they accomplished. Or they may feel like, dang, I've been manifesting this for a long time and I don't got it, but you got it. So now I'm envious of you. And I just feel like that's a horrible way of thinking. That's an ugly trait to have. You're supposed to root for your people, you know? Everybody has a season and a time. So if it's their season, you root for them, you clap for them, you uplift them, you see how you can help because your season is coming too. But a lot of people have this mindset that something is owed to them or because you're winning, they're supposed to win too. They don't know the praying, the crying, the grinding, the sacrifices. They see you winning or they see you getting placed in a position. And the crazy thing about it is, it's not even that we're putting ourselves in these positions necessarily. Yeah, we're working hard, but at the end of the day, God positions us. So if you want to be mad at anybody, take that up with God because God puts us in position. So yeah, I worked hard, I sacrificed, I hustled, I got out the mud, I was in the field. But also God heard my prayers and God decided when it was time for me to go into position. God prepared me, God placed me. So... If you have people in your circle that's winning right now and it's not your winning season, root for them. Don't have, don't, don't feel like 
dang, it's not me or this. Don't feel any type of way like that because then you block your blessings. If you're one of those people, just try to change your mindset. Don't look at it like, oh, they got this, but I've been working on it. Oh, they got that promotion. I wanted that promotion. Nope, it's their turn. And you just wait in line until God feels like it's your turn because your turn is coming. I don't know. I don't know why people have that mindset of like being jealous or envious when people are in their winning season. Because me, I'm like super excited. I'm your biggest fan, your biggest supporter. Like I literally want to see you win because it's enough room for all of us to win. I, I, I don't know. That, that's just me. I, I can't speak for everybody else, but that's just me. I want to see you win. Like, if anything, that's motivation. Like, I want to see you do good. I want to see you do better than me because then you're also probably going to motivate me. Because, again, that phrase, they want to see you do good but never better than them, that's a real thing. And you got to just pay attention. And, unfortunately, it's going to come from people that you love or people that you care about or people that you think care about you or love you. Don't try to ignore it. Don't be like, oh, that's my boy. She wouldn't do that. Oh, that's my girl. She wouldn't feel like that. At the end of the day, like I said, there's no limits to this. You will be very surprised who's envious and who's jealous of you and who don't want to see you win. So just, you know, try to make sure you have genuine people in your circle. Of course, you're never going to be able to point out the people who are not, who are not genuine, but God is going to reveal them in due time. But until then, just keep doing you. If you're somebody who's been manifesting, praying, grinding, hustling, keep doing that because God is going to position you. God is going to place you where you're supposed to be. And whatever's supposed to happen for you is going to happen for you in your season. Make sure you comment down below because I want your feedback. Have you ever been in any situations where you have people rooting for you and then all of a sudden when you, when you accomplish what you were trying to accomplish or when whatever you were manifesting happened for you, they kind of switched up a little bit? Give me some feedback. Let me know. And yeah, I want to know like what you've experienced with this. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode of Wind Down Wednesdays.